Can I help you? Not much to say. Doc Morbid's pretty pissed because their prices are lower for medical stuff. They're on the west side. The Death Claw? Oh, that's a bedtime story. Drinks blood and howls at the full moon. Yeah, right. Great place to get a cheap room. Not too dirty, either. But don't mess with the owner, Marcellus. She'll pull your arms out if you smart off to her. Well, that's me. Where have you been? That's my store. You need it, I got it. Well, Doc owns a little place in the middle of town. Does a nice patch job if you need it. Fairly reasonable prices. Gizmo owns the casino, named it after himself. Be very careful around him. Ah, Gizmo's is the casino by the entrance. I'm surprised you didn't notice it on your way in. You can usually smell the place for miles. But hey, it brings in the tourists. Well, the hub's the main place for trade. Anything you don't find here, you'll probably find in the hub. Not sure how safe it is nowadays with all those strange things going on. Well, the cons are a bunch of bullies who live outside to the east. They've been trying to take over Junktown for as long as I can remember, but they never make it past the gates. Now, Lars heads up the guards here. He's a good guy. Pretty trustworthy. That city's death. I sent two patrols down there, and neither one of them returned. Now that's our resident bar. The food's okay, but the beer's great. The owner, Neil, takes no lip, not even from some of the raiders that come in. Now there are two kinds, the cons and the vipers. We usually don't get trouble from the vipers, and a few of them actually pass through town. The cons, though, they're a mean bunch. They think they can conquer the world or some such crap. Shady Sands? That's a little place up to the north. I'd like to do more trading with them. The Skulls are a bunch of punks who work for Gizmo. They don't cause that much trouble, but me and Lars keep an eye on them. Now, yeah, there's some rumors coming up from the hub. Caravans disappearing, people being butchered. Even some talk of big green monsters who eat human flesh. All sorts of weird stuff. Well, Vinny, he's one of the problem children. He leads a group of punks called the Skulls. Still, they pay the rent, and they haven't bothered anyone too much. The Vipers are a crazy bunch from up north. They worship snakes or something. Where have you been for the last hundred years? In a closet? My father used to tell me stories about the war. His father was a soldier before starting Junktown. The name's Killian. Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Not much up that way except desert and shady sands. You from there? Yeah, if you say so. So, what do you need? Well, junk town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. From outside, we've had the occasional to-do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet, 
knock on my mother-in-law's head. Well, junk town's not much, but it's... Oh, we got tons to do. The scum pit's on the east side by the entrance. Great drinking place. Gizmos is near there. And if you're hurting, Doc Morbid's your man. Well, if we're too fast for you, just pass on by, pal. It is pal, ain't it? But you obviously have me confused with someone who has to take your lip. Why don't you come back when your mama teaches you some manners? Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave thing to do. Now, it looks like we've got ourselves a situation here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? Now, if I get proof, the people of Junktown will kick him out. The way I figure it, you need to either plant a bug at his place or wear a wire and get him to confess to you. Can you handle that? I'm not going to lie to you. It will be dangerous. But I'll owe you one, and Killian Darkwater always pays his debts. I tell you what, anything in the store, even the most expensive, it's yours. No charge. If it's a gun, I'll give you all the ammo you can carry. Does that sound fair? All right. I owe you. Here's the bug in the wiretap. You let me know when it's done. And good luck. So, did you get the evidence? Well, he's not going to come here and confess. You shouldn't even be seen with me until this is done. Then go. So, did you get the evidence? Which? Bug or tape? Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, well, thanks again. Now well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Good luck in your travels. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a fat ass to move. Bug or tape? Great. Let me make sure it's working. Loud and clear. We're going to get him. In the meantime, we've got some business. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Might be good for a laugh. Well, I can pay you the standard rate for mercenary work. 500 caps. Listen, that's all I'm offering. Thanks for getting the evidence, but I'm not going to beg for your services. Good luck in your travels. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? I go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now listen, this town owes you a lot. 